The command palette in Sublime Text allows you to explore existing commands, find ones that you might want to execute that you don't know the key bindings of, and even find the key bindings associated with said commands if there happens to be one, which makes it a great learning resource as well. But not all commands are added to the command palette by default. And uh, what if there's a command that you might like to add? Turns out that's, uh, that's very easy to do. And today, we're going to show you how. <laughs> Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odat Nerd here, and welcome to this week's continuation of last week's video on the Sublime Text command palette. Now last week we talked about the command palette and how it's a great way for you to be able to navigate around inside of the commands in a Sublime Text. Now there can be some commands that you don't use on a frequent enough basis to have a key bound to them, and you don't want to search around in the menus in order to find them. The command palette is a great way to do that. And as a matter of fact, the command palette will also show you associated key bindings for commands that have them, which makes this a great way to learn key bindings as well. Now you may come across a command that Sublime or a package that you've installed hasn't put inside of the command palette and you might want it to be in there. And this is actually very easy to do. And it goes a little bit something like this. First, the very first time you do this, you need to create the file that's going to contain your new command palette entry. So create a brand new tab. And this is going to be a JSON file like many Sublime Text resources. So give it the syntax of JSON. And the fastest way to do this is using the command palette, much faster than using the menu. Now the command palette is a list of commands. So this file needs to represent a list of items, which means that the very first character in the file needs to be an open square bracket, and the very last character in the file needs to be a closed square bracket. And what goes between those is the commands that you would like to add, each separated from the other by a comma, just like a key binding file. So every entry is going to start and end with a brace, and it's going to have three keys inside of it, caption, command, and args. Caption is going to be the text that specifies what it actually looks like in the command palette. Make sure you pick something that will let you find this in the command palette later. Command is the command that you need to execute. And if that command takes any arguments, then you would specify those here as well. If not, you do not need to provide this. And uh, that is all you need in here. Now, this is very much like a key binding file, but don't include keys in here. This isn't key binding. And also don't include context because the command palette uses a different mechanism for knowing whether a command should exist or not. And once this is done, all you have to do is save this file. Now, it has to be saved in a very specific location with a very specific extension. But the name of the file doesn't matter. The location is a package, and I would recommend your user package. And if you don't know where that is, use Preferences Browse Packages from the menu or from the command palette. That'll tell you exactly where this goes. Now, when you save the file into this location, again, the name of the file doesn't matter, only the extension matters. Make sure that it is Sublime Dash Commands or Sublime's not going to know this is a commands file. The name can be anything you like. Commonly, people use the name default for this because it lines up with the default key bindings, but you don't have to do that. You can change whatever name you like for this. As soon as you save the file, your entries are automatically in the command palette and will be available to you. Now, if you do this for a command that has a key binding, the command palette will automatically display the key binding in there. You don't have to do anything special. You change the key binding, the command palette will automatically update as well. Now, this presupposes that you know where to find the commands that you would actually use. And we've covered that in a previous video, which I've linked down in the description below. And that is all we have to say about the command palette and how it will make your life in Sublime Text that much better. So if you haven't already done so, use those buttons down below my head to thumb subscribe and share and ring the bell notification icon because I got a great uh, new video coming for you next week with more awesome tutorials for Sublime Text. And uh, until then, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.